Hi, this is Dr. Janice Huntingford, and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about chronic kidney disease in dogs and cats, how we treat it conventionally, and also how integrative practitioners, such as myself, are going to treat kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is very common in our aging pets. And unfortunately, there is a better prognosis in cats than in dogs, and that simply has to do with the efficiency of the feline kidney. There is something called the International Renal Interest Society, and it classifies the extent of kidney disease based on a number of factors for our pets. And that includes whether there's protein in the urine, and we're also looking at the elevation in a kidney enzyme called creatinine and the animal's blood pressure. So based on all of those things, your pet is given a classification of one to four, with one being the best and four, unfortunately, being the worst prognosis. The important thing to remember about chronic kidney disease is that the treatment is really focused on making your dog or cat feel better. So very interested in the quality of life and we're interested in prolonging that life as long as we can with a good quality. And it's very important to remember that kidney disease is not cured. It's something that we as veterinarians and pet owners are managing. So what are the signs that your pet may have chronic kidney disease? Well, they're listed here. Things like a loss of appetite, constipation, dehydration. Most people are going to notice an increase in drinking and urination, and sometimes cats stop using the litter box. They're trying to tell you that there's an issue. Many times the first thing that owners notice is weight loss. Uh, and then there are things that veterinarians are going to notice, like anemia, or if you open the mouth, possibly gastric ulcers. Later in the disease, signs can include things like vomiting, seizure, and collapse, but that's when we're coming to really the very end, and we're going to hope that we notice it in our pets before then. And if you think that your pet has chronic kidney disease, the most important thing to do is take it to your veterinarian so that they can make a, an appropriate diagnosis. Don't start treating on your own. Don't look at Dr. Google, but rely on your veterinarian to help you. So what are the conventional treatments of chronic kidney disease? Well, probably the first one is to change the diet. Many of the cat and dog diets are going to be too high for animals. The protein is going to be too high for animals with chronic kidney issues. Uh, the other thing that can be too high as well is the phosphorus. And so your veterinarian should be able to help you depending upon which iris stage your pet is in is going to depend upon whether they need a food like this ProPlan veterinary diet uh, kidney function, a canned food for cats, or whether you can simply use a moderate protein restriction and over the counter food, but your veterinarian should be able to help you with that. But as the disease progresses, oftentimes these dehydrated animals, dogs and cats, need fluids given under the skin. We will often give B12 injections to help for appetite and to make the animals feel a lot better. There are medications that can be given for high blood pressure because unfortunately, one of the side effects of kidney disease is elevated blood pressure. And depending upon what your animal is eating, uh, there might be too much phosphorus in the food. And so you might need to use phosphorus binders. And many times we're also going to use appetite stimulants with these cats. And that's pretty much the extent of the conventional treatment. But I am an integrative practitioner and we like to use integrative treatments to help prolong the quality of life and the life of our patients. And this is a list of many of the integrative treatments that we use. I do use a lot of acupuncture uh, in dogs and cats with kidney disease. Uh, I will also use laser therapy in cats in particular because uh, kidney disease in kitty cats is an inflammatory process. And so laser therapy can be very helpful. I'm a big fan of homemade balanced kidney diets. So your veterinarian or your veterinary nutritionist should be able to help you with that. So just making a homemade diet that you get off the internet, 
not necessarily the best thing. Talk to your veterinarian, talk to the veterinary nutritionist, make sure that the diet is balanced. I'm a huge fan of slippery elm for cats who have constipation and it's very easy to make up into a uh, with a powder that you mix in canned food or to make a slurry. Herbal therapy is another one of my favorite things for these kitty cats and I will sometimes use Chinese herbs. I use something called Romania 8 often and that's in a tablet form. However, many of my pet owners have a very difficult time trying to get a pill into their cat, which is why I am a huge fan of Pet Wellbeing's Kidney Support Gold because it's a liquid. It's a bacon flavored liquid. Many of the cats like the taste of it. So I was very interested in knowing whether this product actually was effective for my patients. So I did a study, I actually wrote my master's on this particular uh, herbal formula. And uh, what I have produced is a pilot study that uh, had involved not a huge number of cats. We had about 20 cats in our study and we did a safety and efficacy study. We wanted to see how well it worked and what it did. And what we found out was that our pilot in our pilot project was that the cats, because this was a, a this was a research project on cats, uh, improved their quality of life hugely on the supplement compared to the cats who are on placebo. The safety part of it showed us that the uh, kidney support gold did not have any problems with causing any adverse reactions with the biological indicators. And, but what we did find was that the cats in the study gained weight. There wasn't a huge change in the kidney enzymes uh, on this product, but they had much better quality of life. They gained weight. The clients reported that they were happier and much more interactive while they were on this particular product. And they lived longer than those cats that were on the placebo. So for these reasons, Kidney Support Gold, I think is an excellent product to use for animals who have chronic kidney disease. So if you give this particular product, Kidney Support Gold, in addition to your conventional therapy, I found that it's been very helpful for my patients who have chronic kidney disease. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day.